Ms. can respond. I'm not sure there was a, <clears throat> a question at the end. Okay. No. Okay. I know, I'm just giving you opportunity. I was, I was gonna, I didn't get there. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman from Florida is recognized. Yeah, I, I agree with Mr. Biggs. You've given us testimony today that you're disappointed that the FBI didn't cooperate more, right? That was your testimony. I said that. Yeah, so we're disappointed too, but the difference is when regular folks do things that are wrong and unlawful, there's typically greater effort to try to get those people before a grand jury to, to utilize criminal process where appropriate, not, not for other purposes. And it's just like, oh, well, Bill Priestep, the guy who might have set this whole op in motion, he just didn't want to talk to you about certain things, and you were real accommodating to that. And then Mifsud, the person who juices Papadopoulos to create this predicate that you find improper, you guys, you, I mean, did you ever know who his lawyer was, Mifsud's lawyer? He talked to his lawyer in Europe. Not a, I don't know if so he wait, wait, You could find the guy's States. lawyer, but you couldn't find him? We uh, contacted uh, somebody that we knew had, had, rep had represented him in a, a part of the effort to try to locate him. And you got the lawyer. And then now you're, you're sitting here in front of the judiciary saying you could find the guy's lawyer, but you couldn't effectuate the service of a subpoena because you couldn't find him? Well, you, first you know of all, that sounds? as you may or may not know, we wouldn't have um, the authority to serve a subpoena overseas. Um, the lawyer didn't know where Mifsud was. He was in communication uh, with him, but he claimed not to know where he was. And we were trying to arrange um, an opportunity to talk to Mifsud. Did you take uh, possession of two BlackBerry phones from Mifsud in any way? There were phones that were provided to us by oh, so you could find the phones with the guy. Correct. Do you see how silly this looks? Like you found the lawyer, you found the phones, but the actual dude who yeah. got ordered by Western Intelligence to go start this thing you couldn't find? It, it, it's it's kind of laughable. It seems like more than disappointment. It seems like you weren't really trying to expose the true core of the corruption. That you were trying to you were trying to go at it another way. Yeah. As we said in the um, report, and as I said in my opening remarks. We pursued the facts as best we could. Well, how about the this tools fact? that we have? Okay, how about this fact, Mr. Durham? The entire Mueller team does a hard reset on their Apple phone in synchronization to wipe away evidence. Did you investigate that? I've read that. Well, why didn't, did you investigate it? Who gave the order on the Mueller team to, to wipe the phones? Yeah, that was not something that we were um, asked to look at, and we well, didn't no, look that's at that. That's not true, Mr. Durham. That is not true, because I'm holding the document that authorizes your activity, and it specifically says the investigation of special counsel Robert Mueller. It's in par Mr. Chairman, I seek unanimous consent to enter into the record the order that says that you're supposed to inter investigate these things. And so like, whether it's the Mueller team, Mifsud, how about Azra Turk? Azra Turk, what's Azra Turk's real name? Do you know that? I'm not going to be disclosing the names of FBI personnel that are oh, otherwise unavailable. But, but an FBI, so the FBI sends somebody to go honeypot George Papadopoulos. Who gave the order to do that? I think that's beyond the scope of what's in the report. It's literally the scope of what your charging order is. Who put it in motion? We get after it was put in motion, the FBI did a bunch of wrong and corrupt things. Totally understand we're trying to deal with that. But when you are part of the cover-up, Mr. Durham, mm. then it makes our job harder. Mm. Yeah, well, if that's your thought, I mean, there's no way of dissuading you from that. I can tell you that it's offensive and that the people who worked on this investigation have spent their lives trying to protect the people in this country and pursue within the law you went what it is that we, two, could, we are Mr. authorized Durham, wait, to do. You tried two cases, lost both of them, and then the one plea, guilty plea you got, Klein Smith. Kleinsmith is back to practicing law in Washington, D.C. today. Yeah, that's beyond my control. Right, but, but the, f the fact that you allowed that plea to occur, yeah. right, and, and then the punishment was insufficient, the fact that you didn't, you didn't charge Andrew McCabe, you didn't convict the Lion Democrats or the Lion Russians, you didn't investigate Mifsud or the Mueller probe, even though, as we sit here today in black letter, that was your charge. Have you ever heard of the Washington Generals? The Washington Generals, yes. Yeah, and, and they're the team that basically gets paid to show up and lose, right? <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm sure that the players who um, exert blood, sweat, and tears don't view it that way, but you might. I think they do. I think they do because the job of the Washington Generals is to show up every night and to play the Harlem Globetrotters. And their job oh, I'm is thinking, to lose. I'm sorry, of a different, I was thinking of a different Yeah, thing. Yeah, so their job is to lose. And I'm kind of wondering, 
And, and it, just see, it just seems so facially obvious that it's not what's in your report that's telling. Mm. It's the omission. It's the lack of work you did. And for the people like the chairman who put trust in you, I think you let them down. I think you let the country down. And you are one of the barriers to the true accountability that we need. Do I get to respond to that or comment on that? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've ever investigated a crime. Um, if you I don't know that you have. Did, you didn't investigate these, Mr. Yeah. Durham. Whether or How about not, Andy McCabe? Did you charge him? Did you yeah. investigate him? Gentlemen, gentlemen, time has expired. The witness can respond, and then we'll move on to our last uh, last. I don't know, sir, whether or not you've ever had occasion to uh, try to investigate crimes under the rules and regulations and under the Constitution that we're bound by. Um, we can gather evidence in particularly lawful ways. Uh, can't charge people because we might think it's something. Not just that we you can charge, charge you people. Didn't gentlemen, gentlemen, you didn't investigate. You didn't investigate the Mueller team gentlemen's wiping time. their phones, gentlemen's and you won't time. tell us who gave the orders because you're protecting those people. Gentlemen's time has expired. The um, the gentle lady from Wyoming is recognized. Mr. Durham, <clears throat> in reviewing your report, I 